because of what we're doing technically in advertising messaging wise, we can get companies, we call them at bats. Okay. It's using the baseball metaphor. You can get to the plate. You can get a shot at guys that want to maybe work for you. However, we can get you the at bats, but I can't make you hit the ball. We aren't, we're, no one's that good. And that, remember the, the hiring ambassador thing we talked about earlier? That requires very things like getting back to the person super duper fast. They apply, get back to them within an hour or two or at least the same day. If you wait, they're going to lose interest. Be able to describe your company. Why do they want to come work here? Why do guys come work for your company? Are you paying enough money? In fact, I talked to a client today, um, um, again, in Chester up in, uh, they have a big heavy towing operation up in Pittsburgh. Uh, they do a lot of repair. They just hired a guy. They had four guys they wanted to hire. Two of them were at the state level and the benefits were so good they couldn't bring them in. Same money, the benefits weren't enough. They didn't get them. So if we take you back into the flow of the process where, again, originally there was you know, the Indeed applicant do away from the Indian and applicant because uh, these are now applicants that have a job, but who are interested in, in a new opportunity. Okay. They apply for the job via a 40 second job application. Now we pull them into our uh, interface here. We have our own recruiting uh, interface that enables you to manage these applicants. These applicants are your exclusive candidates. They don't, we don't share them with anybody else. They're yours only. So if you get 40 applicants, 42 like Champion Fleet Care, they belong to you. Our system enables you to manage these applicants, look at their responses, have preloaded templates so you can reply to them really quickly and communicate with them. Because we integrate with Facebook Instant Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, Google, wherever they're coming in from, you can then connect with them via that route or via SMS tech message to communicate and pull them in. Let me, let me add that. The most important, I think, Jamie, I think is if the technology piece we do is it works great. We know what we're doing and it works 95%. It doesn't work every time because some markets are trickier than others, like any other business, right? However, the biggest impediment is a company's own operations. We're talking to a firm now and they're, they're, in, they're in North Carolina. I want to say the name of the company. The person there, this HR gentleman, I don't think he could sell the company if his life depended on it. And so how, what do you do with people that are in these roles that can't do the job anymore? And that's, I think, a bigger challenge than what we're doing technologically messaging on, on the advertising and the technology front. Back to the hiring ambassador. Yeah, we see that in our consulting business. Like we can generate great marketing. We can help them tell a great story. We can get people interested. But if the, you know, let's say if the salespeople are mismatched, they're a bunch of farmers. They're not hunters. They're not really going to be able to close that and ask for the business. You know, if there's a if there's a mismatch in the personality of the person to the job they're in, and that like, and and we have a tool that helps people to uh, solve that problem. But that is a is an ongoing issue, and I see that at every level of operations. Oftentimes, people come to our consulting business. We want to grow. That's that's the beginning conversation. But after we've worked with them for a while, it's not just a sales and marketing issue. There's an organization issue. There's a people issue. There's, there's all these challenges inside of the business of getting, as Jim Collins says, the right people on the bus sitting in the right seats. 